You're having a very strange dream. And in this dream, you're seeing this man whom you've all met before. Yes, I have seen that man before. Y you were sitting under the tree the day... The day the apple fell on your head. Yes, that's right. Quite a day, wasn't it? As a matter of fact, this man jostled the tree when he got up to leave. Just before the apple fell, yes. And a new era in human science was born. Wait a minute. Weren't you the guy in the Jeep? The guy in the Jeep who picked you up after your own vehicle broke down that summer afternoon. Isn't that right? Oh, man, he was a lifesaver. My van died, and they dragged it off the road because of all the traffic. It was backed up for miles. You were on your way to a job, weren't you? Yeah, I was supposed to be on the follow spot up in Tower 3. I never would have made it in time if it weren't for him. Hey, whatever happened with that groovy chick with the long red beads in the back seat? I've been looking for her ever since you dropped me off. You'll see her again. Don't worry. To sum up, you are a spotlight operator at an outdoor concert of some sort. A concert that was put in jeopardy moments before it was to begin because the entire sound system failed. Oh, it was no big deal. Somebody must have snagged an extension cord with one of the trucks, that's all. I'm just lucky I noticed it. Yes, lucky you were at the right place at the right time. Or it would have taken days to track down the problem and there would have been no concert. Well, I'm sorry to say I have met him, but I've never seen this man before in my life. Are you sure? Has it not been established that my client has been in captivity during all of Commander Riker's lifetime? Have you seen this photograph before? Sure I have. That is Colonel Thaddeus Riker. After he was wounded at Pine Mountain, they used to call him Old Iron Boots. He was in command of the 102nd New York during General Sherman's march on Atlanta. This picture was taken in 1864, just after they let him out of the Army Hospital. And the soldier beside him? I'll be damned. It's him. As a matter of fact, he carried your wounded ancestor back from the front line, didn't you? My point is, Captain, Q has had a profound influence on these three lives. Without Q, Isaac Newton would have died forgotten in a Liverpool debtor's prison, a suspect in several prostitute murders. Without Q, there would have been no concert at, uh... Woodstock. Wherever. More importantly, Mr. Ginsburg would never have met his future wife, the groovy chick with the long red beads, and he would never have become a successful orthodontist settled in Scarsdale with four kids. Far out. Yes. Without Q, there would have been no William T. Riker at all, and I would have lost at least a dozen really good opportunities to insult him over the years. Oh, and lest I forget, without Q, the Borg would have assimilated the Federation. Thank you. Thank you. This is the life that Q treats without respect. This is the life that he would give up so easily.